Well, there is a beautiful, familiar sight. You and a Christmas tree. Laura. Laura. Isn't the Christmas tree beautiful? Come bearing gifts. That was fast work, boys. Well, I do have an eye for picking out gifts you all love. You picked out? Where do, where do I come in and all that? Your credit card. <laughs> this is a wonderful treat. Where's Grandma? Oh, she's spending the night with Barbara Jean so we can have run of the house. She wanted to give us time for our honeymoon. Is that, is that a turkey I smell in the oven? It is. Mike buys a bunch of them for the homeless every year for Thanksgiving, and he was good enough to give us one, so once we open the presents, we're gonna sit down to a holiday feed. Mm. So, so what are we gonna do now, open the presents? Yeah, let's start with you, darling. Oh, no, 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 you start, because I like to see your faces when you open I, the gifts. I think Lucky should open the first one, you. You understand, well, when you see it, there you go, it works for me. <laughs> Digital camera? We need to take as many photos of this evening as possible. I agree. All right, Mom, let's start first. Smile. Mom. Mom. It's okay. This happened earlier, just... She's fine, just give her a minute. Sweetheart. Sweet Laura. Opening presents. Oh. So. So we're we're opening the presents yes, now, right? Yes. Yes. Yes, we are. So. Lou. Oh. Thanks. Luke. I think. I think we should call the doctor. I'd like to see how much time I have left. Mom's a long way from sitting silently in a chair. Maybe there's some other medicine that they can give her to, to keep her going. Yeah, well, let's, let's not get our hopes up until we hear what Dr. Drake has to say. Thank you for coming over to the house on Thanksgiving. That was awfully nice That's of you. No problem. Just wish I could have done more. What does that mean? I, I want my family to hear the diagnosis, please. Laura is relapsing into psychomotor disassociation. These episodes of stillness will occur with increased frequency. It's remarkable that you can call your mother back, but soon that won't be possible. Thank you, Doctor. We'll take it from here. Let's get going on some presents so I can have some good photo ops. I'm afraid that this Christmas celebration is over now. Hey, well, it smells like that turkey's almost done, so why don't we just sit down and have a nice no. dinner? No, honey. Dr. Drake feels that it would be best for me to go back to Shady Brook now while I'm still able to uh, get there by myself. Um, I'd like to go now. How can you say that? It's going to be all right. No, it is not going to be all right. How can you just give up and leave? All of my life, I have heard about your love and your courage and your strength. And, and now when it really matters, you're giving up without a fight? The doctors say you need to go back to Shady Brook and you just say fine, okay, no hey, problem? Lulu, that's not... No, this is not fair! We finally get Mom back after years of missing her, and, 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 and what? We've had her less than a month and we're just supposed Lulu. to accept that it's Lulu, over? we're all doing the best we can here. No, Mom, you fought for Dad, didn't you? 
You jumped out of planes. You faced monsters in Nicholas's nutcase family. Why isn't Dad worth fighting for now? Why aren't we? You are all worth it. How can you claim that you love us so much and turn around and leave us so easily? Stop it! You think this is easy for your mother? It's hell, damn it. Give her a break. You have every right to be angry. I'm sorry, Lulu. Can't you stay one more night, Mom? We'll take you to Shady Brook tomorrow. It's happening a little too fast, Lucky. I should go now. I'm sorry. Uh, maybe it is a little bit selfish, but I... I can't bear the thought of the staff of Shady Brook coming here to collect me. Mom. Mom, I wouldn't let that happen. I know you wouldn't. That's why I need to go now. I'm still capable of getting there on my own, and I can sign my own name. Lulu, I'm very sorry. There is no plane to jump out of this time. This is the only way that I can be courageous, is to face what's happening to me with a certain amount of dignity. long enough to sign the admittance papers and walk to the room, but as soon as she sat down, she slipped away again. Is there any way to get through to her now if we can at least say goodbye to her? Sweetheart, the kids are here. They need to talk to you. Can you come back? Just a little while? Yes. Yes, hello. Look. What? Oh. Well, I'm in the hospital. No, what am you, I doing? You wanted to come here, sweetheart. That's right, I... I signed the papers. Yes, you did. Oh, I want to kiss. I want to say goodbye to the kids. I want to... Nicholas, I want to start with Nicholas. Please. Look, leave me alone with Nicholas for a bit. I know you're tired. You should save your energy for Lucky and, and Lulu. Oh, Nicholas. That's so much like you. you always putting your brother and sister ahead of yourself. Well, I'm the oldest. I, I suppose I feel like it's my responsibility. Mm -hmm. That's a wonderful quality in a man. But... Please don't spend your life putting everyone ahead of you. Okay. You have so many wonderful qualities. You're steady and you're calm. I'm so impressed with the generosity of your spirit, Nicholas. I get that from you. Oh, no. I can't take credit for it. I didn't <laughs> raise you. But, Nicholas, it's strange. I feel like I understand you better than my other two. And do you know why? Mm -hmm. It's because we have the same heart. We 
will never be far apart. You know that? I'll always be with you. If you want to know what I would say or what I think, all you have to do is listen to your heart. son I will share them with my son because I want him to know how incredible his grandmother is 